Guys, what's happening? As you'll have read from the title, today I'm going to be showing you how you install an SSD hard drive into an Acer Aspire 6. Now, I've just received this laptop about an hour ago. I did do a little unboxing video, but I've decided to do two separate ones. Um, one just for the sole purpose of the install of an SSD and the other one for an unboxing. The reason be, if you've already got one of these laptops, why would you want to watch someone unbox one? Um, straight away, I'm just going to get to it. And First thing you need is an SSD. Now you can get any brand you want, any size you want. Um, Crucial is supposedly the best one. That's the one I was going to go for, but this one popped up and I just clicked on it and bought it as you do. It's a SanDisk SSD Plus and it's a 480 gig. It says up on the top left hand corner that it's 20 times faster than a typical hard drive, which I do believe, because this, if you haven't already done it, is going to be the best upgrade that you've ever done. I've got a little USB memory stick or memory pen here with Windows 10 on, which I downloaded from the Microsoft official website. With this being a newer laptop, I think it's built into the BIOS, the product key of Windows, so you don't have to worry about typing codes in or anything. It's just older laptops. When you look on the back of them, it'll have a product code or a product key. I don't know what it's called. Let us know in the comment section. Is it a product code or a product key? Over here, I've got my little screwdriver set, which always comes in handy. I've had this for years and... I just need this to get the back off. Um, if you're wondering what's this purpley coloured thing, it's just to protect the front of the laptop because obviously I've got it down on glass and I don't want to scratch it. Um, I'm going to move the camera around and give you a little bit better view when I take the screw out here, pop the back off and show you what I'm doing inside here. First off, what I'm going to do is start the laptop and shut it down. Um, if you've got a timer handy, you can time it and see how fast it is or how slow it is, I should say. And then when I've installed everything, I'm going to do the same process of starting and shutting down and we'll see how much of an increase it makes. So straight away, let's get to it. I'm just about to do a comparison. This is the standard hard drive. I'm going to power it up now. I press the button, the blue lights come on the side. It says Acer. It's pretty fast anyways, the standard one. It's a lot faster than the old laptop. I might have to put my code in here, which I will. Oh, I've pressed it wrong. And there we have it, I think we're I think we're all loaded up. And then if I want to shut it down. Oh no, we're not we're not quite loaded up, we've still got the little spinning wheel. Is that gone now? Looks like it's gone, we're fully loaded. And if I want to shut it down. I've got a blue little light on the side, and I'll tell you when that goes off. It's just gone off now. And I'm going to swap the hard drive now and show you that. Right, I hope this is going to be a good enough view for you. So what you want to do is, on the back of it, you want to undo this little screw. Doesn't matter if you take it out. And then what you want to do is get your finger behind there, or if you haven't got small fingers, get some sort of plastic, soft plastic. And then just pull it up from this side, because this is the way it levers over. So the, the screw's just popped out there. I'm going to leave that to the side. To be honest, you should be doing this on a bigger surface because it's a bit compact here. I haven't really got much room. I'm going to move this to the side. You see there, it's to keep it pressed. And you've got a screw there, a screw there, a screw there, and a screw there. Now, this one will be the one that you could possibly lose if you take out the rest. Well, them two, I don't think you could drop them anywhere. That one you possibly could, but this is the one to watch out on. Now I'm going to fast forward the video because you don't really want to watch me taking screws out because you know how to do that yourself. When you've got all the screws out, if you grab this piece of whatever it is, it's not metal, it's sort of like plastic. If you just pull that up and then the hard drive, if you just give that a little wiggle, it'll just come straight out. Now you're going to have to use this because this is your casing to hold the hard drive. So if I get this one out... And peel this bit off. You want to make sure you've got these two lined up so they're both the same. So if I've got it upside down, obviously that's the wrong way. So you want this that way. And you've got little screws here. So I'm going to quickly take these out and swap this over. So the screws are out and I'm just going to line this up. And I'm going to put the screws back in on the side on the new hard drive. And I'll be back in a second again. Right there, all in, as you can see, both sides. And now all I'm going to do is line that up, and push it in, and then this 
should just go straight in. There's a tiny, I'll take that out again, there's a tiny little bit of plastic that's sticking up there, that just means for to get that lined up. So if you, if you can just see there, and then I'm going to press everything down, but that's on there. Now I can't stress this enough, when you're putting these back, make sure you do them one by one, and try and be as careful as you can. Put something here, maybe it's a piece of paper so it can't fall down, but don't lose the screws. As you can see that's all the screws back in, I've only nipped them up, I haven't put them really tight because obviously I might want to take the hard drive out in the future. So now I just want to put the back casing on, the way you want to do it is go from the left hand side, so go from the left hand side, push down on the bottom and the right hand corner and don't be scared to press down, you're not going to break anything. So the way I'm going to do it is push with, with two hands and I'm going to push this way, so there you go that's that and then don't forget to put the screw back in. And there we have it. Now I'm going to flip it over and show you how you put windows on. Now that you've installed your hard drive, what you want to do is locate your F2 key, which is up here. Obviously my power is over here, so I'm going to start it up. And I'm going to press F2 whilst it's starting. And it says enter password. I'm going to explain that in a second. So when you're in here, what you want to do is go to the boot and set this so it's your USB memory stick. But when you do boot it, it won't work, it'll, it'll say security something something or other. What you'll have to do is come down here and with yours, it'll say enable. Obviously I've enabled mine already and I've entered a password. Now the password is going to be letters, you can't use numbers, so it could be something like ABCD and that'll be fine. Now what you want to do is obviously exit it and it'll boot straight into Windows. Now I'm going to show you how fast this starts up. I'll tell you when it's starting. It's starting now, there. This is how long it takes to boot up. I'm going to have to put my password in. And there we go, and to shut it down, I'll show you how long it takes to shut down. Press on shut down. And the blue light's off, so that seemed faster shutting down, starting up, I think it was faster as well because it wasn't spinning around. If you get stuck with anything, just drop us a message and I'll help you out as always.